Now, verse 49, this is, the, this is the key in all of this. This is the first words, and we should like circle it, underline it, because the very first thing that Jesus ever says that gets recorded as a young, young man will traject. It's gonna show, it's gonna foreshadow what he will do and be about for the rest of his life. Here's the first words, finding Jesus, here it is. Here he is, the first words. Why were you searching for me? He asked, didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Why are you looking for me? Why is there a question about what I would be doing? I love the NASB, the New American Standard Bible. Their translation of this, I think, is even better. It is in the business of the father. The NIV says, I'm in my father's house. The NASB says, why, why did you wonder where I was? Were you not already knowing that I would be in my father's business, be about my father's business, be doing my father's business? So I told you there's three events that happens. The first event is how people, and in the scenario, it starts here and it has just gone forward. When we invest in the Father's business with any resource we have, time, attention, money, whatever it is, people will come and say, why are you treating me like this? And then when we give a spiritual answer, because that's what Jesus gave, I'm about spiritual things. I'm about my Father's business. Even when you can't see it, it's a kingdom. I'm advancing it. I'm, I'm into what he's into. When, when we come to follow the Father, we care about the things He cares about. We love the things He loves. We hate the things that He hates. We get this answer. Here's the third thing. Here's the answer. Verse 50. But they did not understand what He was saying to them. These three things will happen in your life when you are about the Father's business. 